Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cut and color tutorial featuring this Virgin Hair Fix Malaysian Curly Hair. As you can see, this is what the curls look like before I ever wash them. And after the first wash, you can see that the curls loosened up quite a bit, which I am in love with this texture. It's so similar to Brazilian Curly, but just a, a little bit different, slightly different from that. So we're going to go ahead and move on to giving this wig a shape up so it's not looking like a shaggy dog. So I got this here two-sided like blade from my local Sally's Beauty Supply. It's kind of like a razor and it makes the layering process just super easy where you don't have those blunt ends. And what I like to do is first fluff out the wig just to see what shape it already has because I did use three like staggering bundle lengths so it's already somewhat shaped up a little bit or layered but I'm just going in and kind of going curl by curl and what I like to do is focus more so on the top layers of it not cutting the closure too much because once you cut the hair you know you can't grow it back or put it back so I'm just taking small sections and cutting a little bit here and there and this process does take quite a while because as you see as I'm cutting I'm also going back in and I'm fluffing the hair and moving it a lot separating the curls and all of those good things because you really want to get a full effect of what the shape looks like and I'm focusing most of it on the top layers and leaving most of the length because I want it to pretty much stay as long as it is right now and then I'm also going to be doing some face framing layers because I can't express how I can't stress excuse me how important it is to make sure that you frame your face whenever you have a wig because you don't want it to look like it is a wig and you don't want it to be way too much hair for your face so I'm just going to continue going in and cutting a few pieces here and there until I get the shape that I desire so now that we've cut a number of layers in this unit, it's looking so much better than it did before. It has so much more volume and personality, and I am just in love with it. And this is the amount of hair that I ended up taking off, which is not a lot at all. So now we're going to go on and play in a little color. All of the products I'll be using to color this unit can be found at your local Sally's Beauty Supply. So what you'll need is some Kaleido Colors Lightener in Blue as well as some latex gloves. You're also going to need a 30 volume cream developer and I'll be using this Color Seal Conditioner by Clairol that I had left over. And you also need a bowl and a brush to apply the product. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the lightener along with the cream developer until I get a good consistency that's pretty thick. We don't want it to be too runny because you will have a mess on your hand. And also I forgot to mention that you want to make sure that you put down paper or plastic bags or like an old towel that you don't care about because this process can get a little messy. So as you see here, this is the consistency that we want for the lightener. And so I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves so I can protect my nice manicure that I just got. And then we're going to move on to sectioning the hair because as you can see, this is a lot of hair. So sections are your best friend. So I'm just going to start with the bottom layer. And here I'm using my fingers to apply the product. But as you're going to see going forward with the tutorial, I ended up grabbing the brush and using it because it just applied so much more like easier and also allowed me to do a lot of sections in less time so I would definitely recommend using a brush and I'm trying to go for more of an ombre look right now and I'm focusing more so the color on like the last one third of the strands because we are going to go in with another um, lightening process after this one so for just the first round I want to lighten the ends as much as possible and now that I'm finished doing the bottom layer, I just clip that away so it's out of my way. And then I'm moving on to the top layer and applying the product in the same fashion, which is just on like the lower one third of the strands. And you wanna make sure that it's mixed in really, really well. And also on the top layers, because the hair, like you're gonna see more of it, I actually took the lightener up a little bit more than I did on the bottom layers, which you're gonna see. And I just keep painting this lightener on, like going ham with it, and you wanna make sure that the sections are saturated and that you don't miss any sections. So we're just gonna keep on, just enjoy what you see. So 
So once I finished applying all of the lightener, I let it process for 30 minutes and this is the color that we were met with. So it's a little bit lightened on the ends. It may have been taken up about two levels and as you can see the closure definitely processed a lot faster than the bundles which I did not realize until after the fact so we're gonna keep that in mind when we're moving on to the second process. So here in the same fashion I'm going to be applying the bleach just as I did in the first round. Now this time I'm not using the um, Kaleido Colors Blue. This is actually the Kaleido Colors Neutral because this is all I had on hand. And this is specifically for hair that is already like blonde or either brown, which worked really well for the ends of the hair, but I wish I would have had another blue one because as you can see in this portion, I'm actually taking the color up even further than I did in the first round. So I'm saturating the ends just like I did before, but taking it up probably about two thirds of the way on the bottom layer of the hair. So I definitely wish I would have had the blue and we're just going to allow this to process on its own for a little bit. And as you see, I also put a little bit of foil on it to help the processing of it. And I let that sit on for about 30 minutes. And then I went on to the closure since it processed so much faster than the rest of the hair last time. And I'm saturating it. And this time I'm actually putting uh, the bleach or the lightener on about the same amount of hair as I did before, but I'm also like tilt slanting my brush a little bit just so you don't have that harsh line of demarcation from where the natural color is and where the bleach part is. So I'm like kind of painting it on a little bit and going in a diagonal motion once I get closer to the roots of the hair and just going ahead and painting it on, making sure that it's fully saturated and continuing with the process. So I allowed the bleach to sit on the closure for about 15 minutes and after the second process this is what the unit or the color looked like. It's a nice caramel color and as you can see the top layer which is the closure is still a little bit lighter on the ends which I actually really really like. Now to get rid of a little bit of the brassiness, we're going to move on to toning the hair and I'm going to be using the Wella Color Charm Toner in the shade T18 which is lightest ash blonde and you just mix that up with some 20 or 30 volume developer and this is what it looks like. It's very like fluid and you really want to be careful with this when you're painting it onto the hair because if it drops on something it's going to turn it purple. So I'm just saturating all of the hair with this toner. It's like it can go on literally every part of the hair because it's not going to tone anything that's way too dark and it's only going to tone it just slightly because the hair isn't super super blonde or anything like that. So I just want to take a little bit of the brassiness out. You might not even see a difference but I definitely saw a little bit of a difference so I just clipped it all up and then I also put a plastic cap on top of it and let it process for about 30 to 45 minutes and after rinsing the toner out this is what the final product looks like so it definitely toned it slightly where it's a little bit brighter and there's less brassiness to it and this is what the hair looks like wet the curl pattern did not change much but it did loosen it slightly in the closure but the curls are still there 